Welcome to Clinic Sources Micro Training Videos. Today we're going to discuss how to enable appointment reminders. I'm going to go ahead and log into Clinic Source, go to Setup, Users and Therapists, edit your name, and in the user functions in the main window, you'll see that I do have the ability to define Reminder Admin. Please make sure that this option is enabled for your user profile. If it's not enabled and you do check it off, save your profile in the upper left hand corner and remember to log out of clinic source and to log back in for that change to take effect now to access appointment reminders simply go to setup and you'll see there's a menu option called reminders in appointment reminders the main window displays a log of all the reminders that go out to create a new rule for appointments simply click on that little sprocket wheel in the upper left hand corner when the rule box opens, you'll notice that you have two different contact types. You have patient and practitioner. Patient is for patient level reminders, and all of the patients that you have in your clinic will be available in the list below. You can actually define a rule for all, or click on an individual patient name and create a reminder just for that patient. In the main window, you'll see the add new rule. If it's a patient reminder, the only entity type is appointment reminders. Now the attribute is the various appointments you offer in your clinic and you can actually define a specific appointment type to send out as a reminder or leave it as all for default for anything scheduled. There are three different types of reminders you can initiate. It could be a call, a text, or an email. Keep in mind that there are associated costs for calls and texts and you can view our pricing at www.clinicsource.com pricing. Contact override is to actually override the patient profile information. So in the case of a parent or parents, let's say dad's email is on the patient's profile, but mom wants to get an email as well. So you would create one rule and leave this blank and it would automatically use dad's email from the patient's profile. And then you would create an additional rule for the same patient, but override the address by keying in mom's email information. Minutes before is how many minutes before the scheduled appointment you would like to have a reminder. Now, we do give you a little mouse over toolbar. So you can see that 24 hours in advance of the scheduled appointment is 1,440 minutes. 48 hours, 2880, etc. Once you define all the options, simply click on the Add Rule button at the bottom right-hand corner of that box. If you wanted to define a rule for yourself or any other practitioner within the clinic, simply click on practitioner and you'll see a listing of all the providers. Now under entity, the only difference is that not only can you define appointments as reminders for your providers, but you can also define when an eval or a treatment plan is coming due. The same rules apply as far as calls, texting, and email, as well as the override information and minutes before. I hope you've enjoyed this micro training topic on creating reminder rules.